Hello everybody. Today we have Aishwarya with us. She has done internship at Visa and will be joining as an SD at Visa soon. She is a final year BTEC student at Cummins College and let's uh, go through our journey of Visa. So how did you got to know about this opportunity? So Visa had come on campus last in last August for the uh, internship interviews and through which I got an opportunity to opportunity to be an internet visa as along with that uh, i got a ppo offer as well how okay. many rounds were there for the selection procedure so for the internship selection procedure there were two rounds first was the coding round while the second round was the one hour interview round which included both technical as well as hr questions uh, which kind of technical questions they have asked? So it was entirely resume based questions. So initially in the introduction, they asked me to introduce myself with giving like in, without using stuff that is men already mentioned in the resume. And after which they shifted on to technical questions, which were based on the resume itself and the projects I had mentioned, followed by which there was a code pair round in which I was told to uh, do the graphs data structure, code the basic structure of the graph in JavaScript, as I had mentioned, JavaScript as one of my skills. Okay, and questions asked in the online test? So there were two coding questions and we had one hour to solve them. First question was basic iterations of uh, for loops and strings and hash, hash maps and hash sets. Like we had to just uh, repeatedly uh, iterate those and get the required results. While the second question was based on DP and it was a basic uh, palindrome type based question in which they had made a few changes and we had to just try the re uh, required result. Okay, so you were okay. able to solve both of the questions? Uh, no, I, the first question I was able to pass all the test cases while in the second out of 15 test cases I was only able to pass 11 of them. Uh, so, was there any GPA criteria for online assessment? Uh, I'm not exactly sure, but I think it was 7 plus. Okay. So, do you have any resume or project tips? So, yes. One of my tips would be that be thorough with your resume. As for in my case, the project which I had done was, the DSA project which I had done was in Java. And one of my other projects was in JavaScript. So, they had asked me to code the graph data structure in JavaScript, which was a bit unusual, but though I was able to do it. So I think being thorough with your resume and the skills you have mentioned in it, it will help you a lot. Okay. So uh, the project that, that you did in JavaScript, what was that? So it was a basic game, uh, like the dice game or the pig game it's known as, in which it was a three player game, which I had done through a course, like. Udemy course which I had done for JavaScript. So through that it was built, which I had showed. Any database related project? So yeah, the database project which I had done was a one was based on queues, which was uh, it was a semester end project itself, which was based on the vaccination dice system, in which we had implemented priority queue and as well as the normal queue. resources and platforms you used for your preparation? So uh, for one of the strivers sheet was the main source which I had used within the one month which we had gone to got to prepare. Along with it for database, especially W3 schools, last minute preparation for the queries and all it was helpful. And for aptitude quest test, like questions, which some of the companies also ha use, have ap aptitude rounds. So for which it was ibix.com. Okay. So where did you practice DSA questions? Strivers. Uh, Hacker rank. Mostly the questions were there on Hacker rank or GFG, depending on where they were available. A few of them were there on lead code as well. So. And a few only through YouTube solutions as which were when there was less time, you would just go through the solutions to get an idea of how to solve them. Right. So any advice for the aspirants? Uh, so one advice would be 
keep in contact with your seniors as they can guide you the most like how my seniors help me it, if your seniors will help you as well like us as we have gone through the process and we know what is actually needed by the companies or in the interview what we are supposed to say so they can guide you the best and second thing is that keep your resume ready and up to date so whenever you need to apply your thorough with what is there in your resume and you can be confident with it that's it perks of being an internet visa i was waiting for this question so <laughs> uh being in getting an internship in visa or any company actually it will give you really good exposure to the corporate world and in visa especially the accommodation was there by the company itself and all the students from all over india or all the colleges through india which were there around 150 of us were there and we were staying together so interacting with those students along with the mentors that we had in the visa we were allocated with a uh, buddies who would be there to help us basic doubts also if we had we could get it cleared without any hesitation so that is one advantage i think visa gave us as a booster to our career thank you so much aishwarya it was fun talking to you thank you ritu jain mahak all the best for your future journey thank you